Welcome to the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. But before I get into it, I do need to take just a quick second to thank all my members. I really, really appreciate your ongoing support. I have various different tiers. If you want to support me, become a member, you're more than welcome to. The link will be down below. We have a great time. I will notify you of my schedule ahead in terms of uploading and filming. I do members only live streams. I upload videos once a week that are just for members only, usually things like recipes or training. There are channel emojis and many more things. Whilst I appreciate that not everybody is in a position to join a membership, the ones that have joined, I really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to me that you believe in me this much as a content creator and I do my best to give back to you. On that note, now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leona, I'm also a Shikar Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. And I'm not a doctor, nutritionist or a dietitian, but what I am is I'm very tired. It's very early here actually. 20 past six early and I'm on my second coffee. I slept like absolute crap last night. Just had a very, very intense day yesterday. I need to have a rest day. So the reason why I'm filming now and not later after my training is because I need to wait for a gym to open up here, which opens up at nine. And it's like one of those spa gyms. Um, it's called Pulse and they basically have like really nice spa facilities and like really cool cardio equipment So I want to go and do my cardio there overlooking the sea and then go sit in the spa Something that I need to start doing a bit more of is just doing more of the The rehab I do it but not as much as I should no way training for me today because my body is Ruined after yesterday because yesterday I actually took all the dogs from the shelter for a walk It was interesting but uh, yeah, that'll be up on the video on my second channel on Friday, tomorrow. Is it Thursday? I don't know. But anyway, so Chantal is her today. And like I said, I am tired. Might be a little bit short, might be a little bit moody. It's quite possible. Um, I saw her health updates video. She went to the ER twice in a very short period of time. I don't know why she just doesn't go to her normal doctor. From, from what I understand, ER visits are for extreme cases. I don't know how extreme what she was going through was, but she seems to go to the ER a lot. I'm fairly sure she went like four times last year or something like that. She did this video yesterday. I was intending on reacting to it, but then by the time I got home, I couldn't be bothered. And then I woke up this morning, there was a live stream, which we'll get into. But to summarize the video is basically she she has all these serious health problems and once again she needs to start on a new journey to try and get healthy because it's for reals this guy is for reals this time guys you know she actually does have diabetes shock horror fasting blood glucose level of 14 who is surprised to have that i don't even have i didn't even have that after i ate like her for a day and i had that ma massive mcdonald's mine only got up to 10. Um, my fasting by the way i i remember this in hindsight my fasting was seven but Basically, I remember I was handling all of the food, including the syrups and stuff like that, and I didn't wash my hands afterwards. Because afterwards and before then, my fasting usually sits around four or five. It has been around six, but apparently that can be due to hormones because of my period and stuff like that. But to have a fasting blood glucose level of 14, when I don't even get that after eating two and a half thousand calories of like crap, basically, I diet. It's beyond me, not to mention what a 30 centimeter sized liver. That's about that big, when it should be around that big. It's literally double the size, not to mention a lack of a gallbladder, not to mention a pulmonary embolism, not to mention, what else does she have? Um, fatty liver, fatty liver, there's that too. She's decided that now is the time to actually start getting healthy good i suppose i would say better late than never but i don't know i don't know if there is a point of too much damage has been done but i'm guessing that if she did actually genuinely try to fix her health now she probably could have a quali better quality of life moving forward i don't know if she's just in denial if she is just trolling or whether she just genuinely doesn't understand nutrition or food because in this video we're going to look at now, her food choices are just the biggest facepalm ever. It's like, it is watching Captain Picard in a mosaic or something like that. Just like facepalming himself over and over and over again. 
vegan food does not mean that it's healthy. If vegan food can be healthy, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthy. And why she has enough food to feed a family of five for a single person, I don't understand. So I'm gonna, we're gonna watch this, we're gonna count the calories, and then we're probably gonna look at some articles, we're gonna talk about carbohydrates, blood glucose, and we're just gonna go from there and talk about it because this vegan meal with a dessert, it's a joke. For somebody who is in a incredibly poor state of health, seriously poor state of health by their own admission, you can't eat cakes. You don't need to eat cakes. You've eaten enough cakes to last you for some time. You're over 400 pounds, you don't need cake. You want cake. And if you're actually serious about your health, then maybe start considering not eating cake in any mood. You don't, you just don't need to. It's not about moderation anymore, or just don't give a fuck. And keep doing what you're doing and see what the health consequences will be. And they'll just get worse. They will get worse. And yeah, maybe I'm a bit not as diplomatic or a bit more stern, but it's very frustrating. Even if I don't know somebody, it is very frustrating to see somebody just either not understand it or just not giving a shit. And even if she doesn't care, like at least I know there's people that watch her that think that what she's doing is the right thing. And I'm, I'm here to tell you it's not. So that you can learn from her mistakes and not do the same thing and maybe make changes moving forward. So like I said, I'm, it's early, I'm tired, I didn't sleep well, my body is in pain from training, from walking, from running in working boots. I wasn't always on time. We literally have here three, four dishes, five. Oh, oh, oh. She's incredibly happy for somebody who has been to the ER twice. Is it painkillers? Is she on drugs? Could be. Maybe she is. Maybe she's on very good drugs. But um, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would be so happy if I've literally just returned from a second ER visit. <laughs> Going to the ER is normally not fun. I've had to do it a couple of times. It's not enjoyable. You guys make me hyper because I was like literally energyless just before going live. Hi, Ruthie. Or is it maybe all the food? Danielle. I'm sorry, I'm probably being a bit of a dick here, but I just, I just don't get this. I don't understand how somebody can be so neglectful of their health. <laughs> Everyone, I missed. Um, you guys remember that song? Hi, Krista. Uh, and it's hard for me to see from here because, so. She's got massive pupils, oh. She's not got a light on her? Maybe not. Maybe she doesn't use a ring light. But I was gonna say, like, her pupils are pretty big. Maybe. So I'm gonna have dinner. Yes, it's technically takeout. It's the green door, remember? Green door. Okay, so, like, technically takeout. Why is she eating takeout? Why is she even take eating takeout? I don't understand. Didn't she have a whole fridge full of, like, healthy food in case she got hungry? Didn't she say in the video yesterday that she's preparing all of these little snacky things just in case she gets hungry that she can nibble from it. Why the fuck is she ordering a takeout? Why? There's no need for it. Vegetarian restaurant. Hi, Tracy. Raquel, Laura, Val, BBJ in the background. I, um... So I went back to the hospital last night and... Well, she went because of her INR ratings, didn't she? I actually don't, I actually don't know what they are. All right, she went because of her INR, right. What is an INR? I didn't know, so let's learn together here. An INR, or International Normalized Ratio, is a measure of how long it takes for your blood to clot. Uh, Prothrombin time is another blood test done to measure your INR. The higher your PT or INR, the longer your blood will take to clot. An elevate a PT or INR means your blood is taking longer to clot. Uh, then your healthcare provider believes it's healthy for you. When your PT or INR is too high, you have an increased risk of bleeding. Too much anti- So hers was elevated, but why is that a problem though? She's not bleeding, is she? Well, I guess it could be dangerous if she cut herself, but... That seems like a unusual- That's something like I would imagine you can just go to your normal doctor with. You don't have to go to the ER for. 
unless you have a cut and you can't stop bleeding because of it, but it's not like people in the ER are busy dealing with people that have actual serious injuries and stuff like that. When I, the last time I ate was yesterday afternoon. So I went, oh my God, so what, you've got like a whole period of like 12 hours that are eating, imagine that. All this time without eating. When I went, when I was at the hospital, they tested my blood sugar, it was like 17. She has a fasted blood sugar of 17. Wow, that is insane. Like 17? That's definitely diabetes. That is, look, that is a very high seek medical, seek immediate medical attention. So it doesn't even show up in money of discharge. Like it doesn't even show up to 17, like 14, 15, but 17, Jesus Christ. Let's eat some cake though. Don't, don't worry, it's a vegan cake. Go guess. All of these, all of these vegetables, all of these sauces it's been made in, no carbohydrates. Noodles, ah, no carbohydrates. Carbs, carbs don't matter. Same, blood glucose of 17, who gives a fuck? That's like the highest it's been. And then I just tested it now. It's a nine, it went down to nine, which is really good for me. It should ideally be not over seven, but. Nine is still pretty fucking high. But it's good for her. That's the problem, isn't it? It's like di it's diabetic range still, but it's good for her. I'll take nine, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> but I, I'm thinking like if the fasting, hi Savage Keyboard, <laughs> lowers your blood sugar that much, maybe I'll do that more often. <laughs> what is a fast for her though? Didn't she do intermittent fasting? Oh what anyway? Isn't that what she's been doing all this time or for a very long period of time? She did OMA, so shouldn't that basically have dropped her blood? Shouldn't this be like a normal thing for her? Shouldn't she know all this? <laughs> you know, it's, I wasn't hungry. Like I just, I was at the hospital, you know, I wasn't like hungry thinking of food. Like at that time, I'm ha these are beets. I don't think these are just beets. I think something has been done to those beets. Marinated, right, there we go. They've been marinated, what have they been marinated in? Pickling brine from plums. All right, so they've been marinated in sugar, great, great. That's what we like to see because sugared beets, why not? So it's basically beetroots that have been marinated in a palm alcohol. That's great. We love, that's what we do love to see. Liqueured for a fatty liver, for a non-alcoholic fatty liver, and someone is diabetic, you really want to eat foods that have been marinated in a alcoholic drink. You want to eat foods that have been soaking in liqueur. Great idea. There's olive oil, not so bad. Pickling brine. Brine. Imiboshi plums. I've put in the beet as well as the teriyaki because they didn't, I had a look for the, the uh, umasi or umami, whatever it was called, it was not umami, the umeboshi, I had a look for an umeboshi marinade or the wine, the plum wine, the umesu, I couldn't find it so I just went with teriyaki because basically it's a marinade made of alcohol, uh, of a liqueur alcohol so it's going to be sugary obviously. That's how these things work. So liqueur are very high in sugars. So I put in there for all of this, four tablespoons of teriyaki, just to get some sort of sauce in there that is sugar, that has sugar in it. And I also put in half a kilo of beetroots because that is half a kilo of beetroots. That is a lot of fucking beetroots there. That is, I'm gonna say each chunk is maybe 50 grams, something like that. I've put in half a kilo of beetroot, four tablespoons of the sauce, which I think is even being generous, to be honest, because it's actually drenched. You can see it here. In itself, that comes down to 74 grams of carbohydrates, guys. What is this woman doing? And they're mostly sugar as well. 54 grams of that is sugar. 50 grams of sugar. That is 10 teaspoons. No, 11 teaspoons of sugar on just your healthy beetroots. 
Is this literally just like stupidity? Do people just not understand how nutrition works? Or is it just denial of the facts? And you can say like, oh, it's a vegetable, or it's a fruit, fruit sugars, it's not a sugar. All carbohydrates are sugar. This is as per the Harvard website. You have your simple carbohydrates and your complex carbohydrates. Your simple carbohydrates are sugars, like fructose and glucose that are made up of monosaccharides or disaccharides. Basically, they are converted quickly into energy and they are taken up quicker in the bloodstream. And also that will in itself tr trigger a insulin response from the pancreas, uh, which can lead to negative health effects. Now, a complex carbohydrate is basically three or more sugars, sugars linked together. And they tend to have like fibers, minerals, and all of that. They tend to score low on the glycemic index. And the glycemic index is basically an index to see how rapidly the foods are digesting, digested and how it impacts the blood sugar levels. So you wanna, if you're gonna eat carbohydrates, it's better to eat as many low carbohydrate, low glycemic index. But regardless, they will all trigger an insulin response. So whether it's a simple carb or a complex carb, when you're a diabetic, you should eat carbohydrates in these amounts. Because basically what happens is, is that if you're diabetic, your body doesn't produce enough insulin in order to process the carbohydrates. And the reason that is, is because you've basically overloaded your, you've basically overloaded your body for years and years and years and years with too many carbs. And therefore it can't fucking process them anymore. So what you need to do is stop eating carbohydrates or at least simple carbohydrates. And you need to really cut down your intake of carbs. This meal has more carbs in it. Just these, just, just these beetroots in their marinade have more carbs in it than I eat an entire day at the moment doing a cut. I'm low carb, I'm not keto. I'm eating around 50 grams of carbohydrates and that's carbs coming from vegetables, from nuts and seeds, as well as some from my only carbohydrate meal, which is wheat flour. She eats more carbs in her healthy vegetables, her healthy choice meals than I do in an entire day. Now granted we are not comparable because I'm fit and healthy. I know what I'm doing when it comes to training and like dropping body fat, obviously, because I've done this many a times. But just to put that into your perspective, and I eat two and a half thousand calories a day, guys. Two and a half thousand, that's my dieting calories. I'm not eating 1200. They're just, I think they put a little bit of umeboshi vinegar in it. And that's about it. I love beets. And this is their, um, mung, I think they're like mung bean noodles with cabbage, carrots, peppers, broccoli, just a bit of broccoli because of my blood. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Did she just say that? So, she, so she's pro she's worried about broccoli spiking her blood glucose, but she'll have sugar marinated beetroots instead. And beetroots in themselves have quite a lot of carbs in them, comparatively speaking. But the noodles are fine though. Let's not worry about the noodles, but let's worry about the broccoli. This is honestly, I I don't I sorry, I honestly don't know if this is legit. I don't even know which one it is. Is she like? Does she? generally believe that this is is this is she real or is this just to wind people up like me well it has dates in it that's always healthy so let's worry about the broccoli but let's not worry about the sugary dates that are running through there i couldn't find this particular meal in my fitness file i found a from the fat free vegan kitchen a korean noodle stir fry I put in two portions for the simple reason that this is a lot of food. That's not just one portion. Noodles are very high in calories. I don't know if you've ever looked at a pack on the back of a pack of um, ramen. You don't need to eat a lot of ramen to get a lot of calories and carbohydrates. So I reckon this is, this is probably in total two servings. It comes in a medium and a large. And frankly, I don't believe she would have ordered a medium. I think she ordered a large. Already, that is around 120 there were there about 120 calories uh, carbohydrates 20 grams of fat 50 grams of protein which i don't think is correct i mean this probably maybe it is actually because i can see some tofu here so let's benefit of the doubt this is not from the actual website it's a different website i don't think it is even uh, that's another thing i would point out anyway where's the protein i know it's vegan food but i think i think she would benefit from eating 
a lean cause of protein she could do with the healing that comes from eating protein protein is good for recovery in the body but you know what do i know i'm not a doctor after all i'm um, tofu so they make everything i remember some that just because something is made from scratch doesn't necessarily mean it's healthy or it's good for you it's great that things are made from whole foods and i do encourage people eating whole foods but if you're then going to douse it in simple carbohydrates in alcohol in olive oils and i don't mean just a measurement of anything that's been everything that's a takeout restaurant food it's made to taste nice and then make it taste nice by lots of salt lots of flavor lots of other things that are usually not very good for you many that work there said that they start work super early they make everything by hand you can see them all cooking in there um in the kitchen so it's nothing processed i wanted something really fresh uh, but, but we'll worry about the broccoli but we're not going to worry about the date to give it sweet flavor the sugars from the date they're fine because they're fruit sugars right um they make their own kimchi i want to try it Oh, kimchi is nice though. I do like that. But again, that's a fucking lot of kimchi. For one person, kimchi is good for you. Yes, good for your stomach. Great, she's got bad stomach from the medicine. Great, kimchi is good for that. However, is that, and like, does she need like two cups of kimchi? It's just all, like, it's all so unnecessary. It's all, why the volume? Why can't you just eat enough food for one person? Looks good. We're so far, we're up to 200 carbohydrates, 200 grams of carbs. That's a lot of fucking sugar, guys. Mmm. Oh. Sorry, baby girl. And more food, yeah? Because we didn't have enough already. My favorite of all. Is there avocado? There. Avocado salad again. It's been dressed in the in the plum vinegar, so yeah, no wonder she likes it. It's sweet. Don't get me wrong, avocado great. Does it need to have everything on it? Like, look, I'm being nitpicky for the simple reason that she's very, 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 very sick. This is not a case of like, oh yeah, make some changes. Like, no, you need to change your life dr drastically, or else you will be in hospital again very soon more and more and more often. So having foods that are covered and drenched in a liqueur, a sugary liqueur is not gonna be good for you. Let's turn this teriyaki into six. And let's add some avocado, which is, by the way, avocado is good, but again, very high in calories. A serving of avocado is maybe one or two of those slices, not a whole tub. That is, <sighs> Like three large avocados or so, or two large avocados. Maybe it's a, just one large, I don't know, but it's like, over here the avocados are like that big. That's not one avocado over here, I'll do a medium. I'll do two medium. But over here she has two medium avocados. So now we are up to 250 grams of carbs, 2000 calories, 81 grams of fat, 98 grams of protein. All this for a healthy meal, right? Because calories don't count when it's whole food. They do, they really do avocado and you may say she doesn't eat it all but she is she is gonna eat it all probably throughout a whole day maybe not in one meal i just don't believe following her track record and the amount of food she normally consumes that she is gonna sit there and not eat and spare all of this over a period of three days that's what she should do that's what i would do i would probably eat this for three or four days like honestly this is I like to eat smaller meals, but she's going to eat all of this and probably finish it later, eat it all off camera. This is going to be gone within a period of 24 hours. Fact. Because it's nice, it's tasty. And of course it's tasty because it's been dressed in sugars. Natural sugars, but sugars nonetheless. They put marinated red onions in it. Um, oh my gosh, it's so creamy and de friggin licious. I'm telling you. This is more like groceries for me because this auto in them, but it's organic dairy. That. <clears throat> and they have the best kale mashed potatoes. Is this woman for real? Like, is she actually, is she being dead serious now? Does she not realize what she's doing? Does she not realize the amount of calories there is here? 
the amount of carbohydrates that's here. This is really like, I know I'm probably getting more frustrated than I should, but this is just disturbing. This is really, really disturbing to watch. Not only is it mashed potato, it's got cheese in it. It's got butter in it. So we're so far, we are very much on point for a diet that's perfect for very, very extremely severe, potentially non-reversible fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver, and diabetes, guys. Nothing wrong with this. But no broccoli, though. Gotta be careful with those blood sugars for the broccoli. <laughs> that is so much mashed potato, you guys. That is literally, that is literally like half, that's more than half a kilo of potatoes there. Jesus Christ. Who orders this for themselves? Like who, seriously, who orders this much food for themselves and think that's okay? Jumper because it's healthy, it's made of whole, whole, it's made of whole food ingredients and they're non-GMO. That doesn't mean you should eat like 600 grams of potatoes. Fucking hell. <laughs> So anybody who encourages this eating behavior, you are part of the reason why this woman stays sick. And if anything should happen to her, you are, you are, part, you are partly to blame. Encouraging somebody who is very diabetic and has a non-alcoholic fatty liver that is so bad that it's potentially non-reversible from what she said, it sounds like it was in the last stages, to encourage somebody to eat like this is dangerous. This is literally like encouraging, that's like turning around to somebody who is a heroin addict or something like that and being like, okay, well, you know what? It's not cut heroin, you have pure heroin instead. Like, I, don't like, I don't even know the analogy to make. My point is, is to encourage somebody to eat these quantities of food, food that's been this heavily, um, that's been made with this much fat, sugar, additives, Healthy additives, I know, I don't mean like unhealthy additives, but just to eat, let, I let somebody eat these quantities, we are up to almost three and a half thousand calories of food for everything. Not her plate, for everything that's on that table. Three and a half thousand calories, guys. 350 grams of carbohydrates. I don't even eat that in a fucking week. I literally don't even, I don't even eat that in a week. This is insane. Insane. These are the kale mashed potatoes. And we're not finished yet because there's still desserts. Don't forget about dessert, guys. They do wow. have a bit of dairy in them. I'm, gonna have to, I'm actually going to have to stop doing this video in a second because she's literally, this is, the ignorance of this is, it's winding me up. And I know it shouldn't because she's somebody I don't know. The problem is, is that so many people do eat like this and they're like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. And this is why people are obese. This is why people are struggling with their health, with their physical health, with their mental health, and this is why there's such a strain on the healthcare system. And like, I don't mean that to be horrible, but that's a fact. In the UK, obesity costs the NHS 13 billion pounds a year, maybe even more than that. But sure, let's, um, let's not try and get feet, keep the gyms closed. Let's not get people fit and healthy. The obesity is a problem, but let's not do anything to try and fix it. Let's normalize this. Let's normalize a person eating three and having three and a half thousand calories of food just available at their fingertips because why? Because they want it. They don't need it. Yeah, neck dairy. I know I said I wasn't gonna do that. I, I honestly, I know that's all, this is all the food that's there and I'm putting all the food that's there because she's gonna eat it all. She's has, she has such a proven track record of eating all the food she purchases that there is no way that she is just gonna savor this and portion it up. In fact, she's not even portioning it up now. That plate is a big plate and it's it's overflowing. Let's just get to this final dessert. Blood. I honestly... What was I gonna say? So... Uh, I'm sure it's all very creamy. It's all very delicious. Creamy, tasty. Okay, let's get to this dessert. Shit. Got something else from here. You know. This here uh, is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hi, Chevy Use. They're desserts at Green Door. Even by the cookbook, if you don't believe me, okay? Chevy Use. They make them all, obviously, from scratch. They're. Oh, that means it's healthy, right? That's how this, that's, in Chantal's logic, this is how that works. 
if you use, if you make something from scratch, that means it's healthy. Good to know. Very few ingredients. So for example, you can literally make a cheesecake, cream cheese, whipping cream, sugar, maybe stick a vanilla pod through there. There you go. And then like a cookie base. You don't even have to do that, but you can make desserts from little ingredients. Doesn't mean, and from scratch, it doesn't mean it's healthy. Oh, the vegan cheesecake. I think it's made with, I don't know, soft tofu or cashew, I can't remember. It's got cashews, almonds, chia, coconut milk, coconut oil, dates, maple syrup, lemon juice, beet juice, raspberries, lemon. Basically, this is a fat bomb. This is a fat bomb because it's covered, it's made of nothing but nuts and seeds, which is fine in moderation, but you've got to think, just think like a little handful of nuts, right? Just a little serving of nuts. If you ground all of that up into a paste, like a, a peanut butter, now, how many tablespoons of peanut butter do you think is in there? Or cashew butter or almond butter, because that's what it's made of, right? How many tablespoons do you think that's in there? I'm going to guess we are maybe looking at five, six tablespoons of peanut butter. Okay, I'll add it in as a cashew butter because, you know, it's made of cashew, so it's healthy, right? I'm going to go for six tablespoons, 500 calories. There's not to mention any of the other ingredients that's in there, like the dates. It's not sugar, like the almonds. This is, I'm not vegan, but I like eating, I like vegan food sometimes and. Yeah, when you try, when you think you're being healthy, but you're being everything but. Just some, you know what I mean? Just depends. But, um. Intuitive eating, right? Going so great. I'm being such a dick, guys, but honestly, this is just really frustrating to watch. Fresh raspberries, this is raspberry. Uh, okay, but, okay, broccoli, problem. Raspberries. <laughs> Lemon, vegan, and, and it's just a small piece. Small, really? Is that a small piece? You and I have different standards. It's not a large piece, but it's just a normal serving size. If they're small for her. They don't use sugar. Um, they use dates, dates are very high in sugar. Just because it's not an actual, like a powdery, gr granulated white sugar, doesn't mean it's not sugar. All carbohydrates are sugars. The base is made with crushed nuts. Mm -hmm. And quinoa. Um, so I'm going to stop this because I feel like I'm actually just like legit getting wound up over a person I don't know online, which is just absolutely ridiculous. It's just incredibly painful to watch somebody being just so ignorant about food, nutrition, health, and thinking they're doing something right, and it's they're just making their situation worse. So basically, um, I'll insert it here. Calories, 3,900 for everything. 382 grams of carbohydrates. Let's figure, put that into teaspoons, shall we? That's 76 teaspoons of sugar in her healthy, diabetes-friendly meal. And we have 217 grams of fat. That is 14 and a half tablespoons of olive oil in her healthy meal. So the point of this is, just because something is vegan doesn't make it healthy. She needs to cook her own food so she knows what goes in it. She needs to cut back on her carbohydrates. Don't worry about broccoli, Chantel. Eat broccoli. You'll be fine eating broccoli. Don't eat potatoes. Don't have liqueur dressings. Don't have half a kilo of beetroots. Don't have noodles or in small amounts. What I would recommend that she should have had is maybe a portion of protein. Have a chicken breast, some salmon, a bit of steak, maybe even some tofu or some other low carbohydrate vegan alternative that has high protein. I think seitan is quite good as well. Whatever, you catch my drift. Have a good handful of vegetables, broccoli, for example, salad, something like that. Get your tablespoon, this is a teaspoon, but get a tablespoon. Pour the olive oil onto there until it starts overflowing. And then you pour it on, done. Get some sea salt, sprinkle that on top. Go like Nusser, Nusser, is that his name, Nusser? Salt Bay, Salt Bay, Salt Bay some salt over there. Just, you know, a pinch. And then if you really want some carbohydrates, maybe have some whole grain rice 
or a half a cup, half a cup, maybe have a slice of toast of some like whole grain toast, maybe cook up a sweet potato, again half a cup and eat like that. That's what she needs to do. Doesn't have to be extreme, uh, probably extreme for her, probably tastes bland for her. But this is just, this is highly disturbing to watch. This is our healthy calorie meal. Granted, these calories are going to be off. I am taking generic entries. It's not 100% accurate, but it's not gonna be too far off. It's gonna give it like 500 calories either way. Maybe 50 grams of carbs either way. We're not talking like, oh my God, she only ate like 500 calories and I made it 4,000. No, all of the food there was probably around 4,000 calories. Easy, all of it, not on her plate, only all of it. <laughs> I can't wait for my cardio and sauna session later. I need it, I need it to unwind. But yeah, I'm gonna go because this is not good for my blood pressure. Definitely not. <laughs> my resting heart rate is normally 53. It's definitely not that now. So, all right, on that note, guys, I'm gonna go insert a, insert this emoji that, or a face palm emoji to choose. One of those two, I'm gonna go, have a nice day. I'll be back in the next video. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you dislike it. Let me know down below why. Yeah, and now I'll see you in the next one. Bye.